do not update. I repeat, do not update Windows if you're actually using Windows Mixed Reality. It will make your headset an expensive plastic brick as Microsoft removed any support for the Windows Mixed Reality platform. Hey Terry here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. I didn't want to make this video, but here we are. This is happening because with the latest update, a Windows 24 H2, Microsoft decided not only to actually stop support for Windows Mixed Reality, but also to make all of your headsets that we bought during these years completely useless, breaking them. So in this video, I wanna explain the entire situation, what we can do about it, and what to expect in the future. Let's get into it. All right, to start, I wanna apologize with you guys. I wish I made this video sooner. Unfortunately, I was actually traveling for Meta Connect. And to be honest, I wish they actually backtracked a bit or maybe find a solution uh, to this problem. But apparently Microsoft doesn't really give a fuck about us and the investment that we actually made on their platform. Also, I do feel kind of responsible as my channel was actually born reviewing the Odyssey, the Samsung Odyssey, one of the first Windows Mixed Reality headsets, and on the channel we covered pretty much every Windows Mixed Reality headset. Many of you actually got and bought these headsets, maybe even for little because of one of my reviews about them. And for that, I really apologize. I was actually deceived. Funny things, I also bought pretty much all those headsets myself to review them. Uh, they never sent anything over, they never gave affiliate links or anything like that. It was just a straight out passion because I really liked the platform. And uh, this is what remains uh, for me. The Odyssey Plus, that is still one of my favorite. The HP Reverb G2, the most comfortable and one of the best clarity headsets still around. And the, well, the Lenovo Explorer, that was like the king of like value back then. So please trust me when I tell you that I really feel the pain. Also to add to the situation, because it wasn't clearly enough, yesterday they also announced that they're gonna stop development and also support for Allens 2 as well from 2026. Great move, Microsoft. I'm proud of you. Anyway though, what is the situation? Microsoft from October 1st, 2024, so yesterday, started to roll out the update 24H2 for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Well, on Windows 10 for now, everything is fine. On Windows 11, what they did was deprecate completely the part of the OS that was actually supporting Windows Mixed Reality. And so if you install that update, you're not gonna be able to use the Windows Mixed Reality headsets anymore. It's not a matter of installing the Windows Mixed Reality port because Microsoft, instead of working on drivers to actually drive these headsets directly, well, decided to integrate everything in the OS. So if you change the OS, well, this is gonna stop working. And that's what's actually happening right now. Very smart thinking, Microsoft. So the headset will still work on older updates and on Windows 10 for now. But the thing is 2026, well, they're gonna take off also the application from the Microsoft Store, so you're not gonna be able to download it anymore. So if you don't have it downloaded already, you're not gonna be able to use them anymore. And if you still have it, it's still unsure what the situation is gonna be because apparently they ask for like a verification online. So probably they're gonna be bricked anyway. They have the light switch. Uh, it's just a matter of when they're gonna move it and we don't know yet. So well, this is the list of the headsets that from update 24, each two are gonna stop working completely on your PC. These are gonna be the Lenovo Explorer, the Acer AH101, the Dell Visor, the HP Windows Mixed Reality Headset, the Samsung Odyssey, the Asus AC102, the Samsung Odyssey Plus, the HP Reverb, the Acer OYO 500, and the HP Reverb G2. So if you have one of those headsets, well, be aware that updating will break them completely. And these are not gonna be usable just with the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, but also with SteamVR, because SteamVR and the bridge that is needed is not actually gonna work without the Windows Portal. So yeah, chunks of plastic. What really pains me is the fact that Microsoft was actually had years ahead of the competition. They pioneered like uh, technologies like uh, 
inside out tracking, spatial computing, the buzzword that we have now with the Apple Vision Pro, it was very much ahead of its time. But this is the thing that actually happens pretty often uh, to Microsoft. They pioneer something, they're ahead of something, and then they deprecate it, and then everyone else has started to actually use it. And then, well, they try to get back to it, but they're too late because too much time passed. We saw it with uh, Windows Mobile, and now they really wish they had the mobile platform. And right now they're deprecating Windows Mixed Reality when people are actually asking for, you know, spatial computing, something that they have already ready. It's nuts. I mean, think about HoloLens. It was so ahead of its time. It was absolutely fantastic. Now we're talking about Orion. I mean, waveguide displays are what Orion is using. And those were in HoloLens. The crazy thing here is that they didn't say like, we're gonna stop supporting. So the situation of the software is gonna be that one and you're gonna keep your headsets and uh, you know, you can still use it, but nothing new is gonna arrive. But they actually decided to break them completely. These things don't work without Windows Mixed Reality Portal. Don't work with all the parts that are integrated in the OS. So the headset that you bought and that I bought, well, completely pointless. Apparently we bought a subscription or something. I wasn't aware of it. You weren't aware of it. Nobody was aware of it because they never said that these things like will stop working after some years. It's very similar to the situation that happened with the Spotify uh, car hub. That created a lot of buzz because Spotify decided to break it like this. And uh, well, people complained and uh, now you can actually install like some Android stuff on it. And I really wish something similar could happen with Windows Mixed Reality. The problem is like not many people bought it. Actually a 3.6% circa uh, is still using them actively on Steam VR. So there's an audience for it. It's around 80,000 people actively using them. I don't know if we're enough to actually complain, to be honest. I really wish like Louis Rushman actually covered something like this uh, to give it some exposure because this is very shady, very shady indeed. But hey, what can we do now? What are our options? Well, option number one is of course to do not update to the latest update of Windows, update 24H2. And of course, all of the following updates. The good thing is that you're still gonna receive like security updates for a while, but of course you're gonna lose all the new functionalities that will arrive for it. Also, it's very difficult to actually block updates on Windows. Uh, they kind of push them through, no matter what. So just be very careful. The second option is to go back to Windows 10 because till 2026, it will be actually supported for Windows Mixed Reality. Well, they brought like updates back to it without actually touching all the system files of Windows Mixed Reality. So you're gonna be able to still use your headsets over there, but you're an older version of Windows. Option number three is of course to dual boot uh, between systems. So keep Windows 10 just for VR and Windows Mixed Reality and keep Windows 11 uh, for all your other stuff. For sure, it's not the coolest and uh, easiest way to actually do this. Uh, it's actually a pain in the butt to actually move to a different OS every time that you wanna use VR, but that's what they want us to do. And yeah, that's about it. You can even say like, uh, all right, let's sell all my headsets because you're basically like scamming people. Personally, I will not feel confident actually doing that. I will not feel good with myself, but it might be a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel because there's some people that are actually working on an open source thing, open source drivers to actually use these headsets with Linux and in the future also again with Windows creating drivers for them. The project is called Monado. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. It's already working a bit with the Linux. And in the future, as we said, they're gonna start to work on a support also for Windows. It's just crazy that Microsoft didn't think about creating actually a driver before deprecating completely the platform. I mean, at least to use it with OpenXR so we can use it with the Steam VR and everything we want. It's okay if we lose the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, we can live with it, but making these headsets completely paperweight, well, that is not okay. And I'm sorry for this uh, kind of rambling video uh, about it. I, I hope it was helpful that it gives you an insight of what actually to do. Hopefully we can find a way to 
get everything to work together and uh, you know to be able to still use our headsets in the future i actually don't use daily windows mixed reality anymore i moved away from it uh, a while ago but i like to go back to it and i know that many people of you actually still use it because they were cheap back then there are like very good headsets to use the HP Reverb G2 is still amazing for simulators, is all you need. Anyway guys, kind of a negative video. See you guys in the next video and uh, yeah, fuck Microsoft.